Hi everybody, it's me, Kirsten, and Richard from No Pants on the Celebrity Summit. And look, this is gonna be Kirsten's first ever cruise ship view she's leading. Look, I don't even have my glasses on it and I've got my hands free. Kirsten's got the camera, she's running lead here. So I'm gonna be quiet. I actually worked on this ship about 10 years ago. And look, the crew members, they call it the Summit. But Kirsten's been on the reflection. She has been on the Summit. This is the last day, the last sea day. And uh, we should tell them, uh, we're going on the Beyond. Yes. Coming up. So Kirsten's got to see the, all the celebrity ships that are still in operation. But you want to give everyone a tour? All right. So Kirsten's going to give you a tour and I'm going to get drunk. All right. I'm going to be so the Here we are. Here we are uh, in the solarium area, which is nice and warm. And you can see it's uh, very busy out here. We've got our uh, Miami Vice Yeah, machine. so th this is empty right now. And this is the best thing I've seen on any ship. It makes strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. I always hate ordering a Miami Vice because the bartender got to make two drinks. But guess what? Here, they don't have to. But let's show them more of the normal solarium. All righty. We walked solarium, out of there and you got here to... Here we come. So you got the uh, spa cafe here. That's something that's kind of unique to Celebrity. Uh, it's kind of the healthier, healthier option. Let's show them some of the healthy options. Now we've made right. a whole other video just on the drink packages on the ship, haven't we? Oh, oh and it no looks like it's literally just right closing now. right now. You know, I noticed on the celebrity reflection that they had caprese salad they out had it here, here every day. They had it here every day. I haven't seen it here yet. I though. saw it yesterday. I had some. So, and this is also a juice bar. See the juice bar right here, and the juice bar is uh, included in the premium beverage package. So. Yeah. You can see it's uh, significantly busy out here. We're on our last sea day coming back from Cozumel. And if there's not someone in a chair, then it's likely taken by a towel anyways. Oh, the towel hog. Yes. So let's walk through the pool nice and quickly. I'm Looks not going like to stop talking because we have copywritten music. We so, might have a volleyball is, tournament uh, happening over volleyball here. Volleyball game. I don't know if it's guests versus officers. That's what it eventually winds up being. You know, I used to play that every single cruise. I'm not athletic at all, uh, but uh, it's a thing. So they've got uh, they got four hot tubs here, two hot tubs inside, uh, and uh, two pools out here, uh, and one inside. So there's a total of uh, three pools and six hot tubs on board this ship. And then you also have a section over here that's making hamburgers and hot dogs and different things like that. Uh, not, as say, good as, not as I good as say, guys burgers. Celebrity though. probably has the second best burgers in the oh, industry. Uh, but let's go with... Uh, we have some interesting beer some interesting choices beer here. Choices. Yes. So I'm going to go with uh, Bud Light, Red Stripe. Budweiser, yeah. Heineken, I'm gonna go Red, with Red Stripe, Dos Equis, Corona, what do you Newcastle. Want, uh, one red stripe, that one Italian, Maroni. Yeah, Italian I was going to get to the Italian beer. Yes, and then Peroni. So Goose one Island, red stripe and one beer Moretti. And Guinness. The Guinness is a foreign extra stout on the Guinness. Okay, whatever that means. Now, here's, yes. a, here's, a, here's a fun fact for everyone. Uh, do you know, Kirsten learned this yesterday. I learned it yesterday morning. Do you know who created the Guinness Book of World Records? Could it be Guinness? You didn't guess that yesterday. I didn't. And I didn't I didn't know when I found out. I was today years old when I found out that Guinness created the Guinness Book of World Records. Why did yes. they make the Guinness Book of World Records? Because there were too many bar fights in Irish bars and in England bars that they had to make a guide that was the definitive guide. And it used to be filled with stupid feats. And oh wait, it's still filled with stupid feats and stupid attempts. Like Did eating. you know as well that That's in the old days they used to say that Guinness is the beer that pregnant women should drink, you know, back before science was good enough. I mean, look, Kirsten, I can become a woman. I can get pregnant. So we're just passing through the area here where they try to... Um, they try to sell us some specialty dining every time oh. we walk through. We did the La Petite Chef. I was and then just we did say, the Tuscan honestly, Grill. I don't need to hear La Petite Chef's voice well, for hello. the rest of my life. I'm a little chef. Yes. How are you? And then yes. you've got the ice cream line, which yes, uh, we have unlike, the ice cream. Unlike the other cruise lines, they have both soft serve and hard serve ice cream available. If you go on Carnival, you're only getting hard serve in an upcharge venue and in. Uh, or else you get hard serve on Carnival. You get it in the upcharge venue, and you get it in the dining room. Here, 
You can come get hard serve ice cream. Oh my God, it's not neck Latin favorites today. This is yes. always the Latin favorites section. So it looks like the um, cafeteria here is pretty full of people, but it's not uh, totally full. I do see a few seats available. It, and now of... on Embarkation Day, there's not. Correct. On Embarkation Day, it's a damn zoo. I personally like the uh, Indian food favorites. They have several several choices here, and Indian food is one of my favorites. Now, I am personally not a fan of the Indian food favorites because I don't like food that burns when it goes in and when it comes out. Oh, yes. Look. They have a salmon lock station. That seems like a breakfast thing. It um, does. And you know, the first day that I was on this ship, I actually didn't realize that there was more buffet as we continue to walk back Well, this here. is the Billy Mays buffet. Because Do you this know why this is the Billy Mays buffet, Kristen? Why is that? Because wait, there's more. Ah, yes. Oh, and there's uh, more seating in this area as well. Pizza. Let's talk pizza, Kirsten, for those that don't know. Uh, so if you aren't carnival people, Carney Trash, we love you, Carney Trash. Uh, the pizza's open until 4 o'clock in the morning. But here, you can only get food until 1 o'clock in the morning. And room service has a $10 delivery fee on it. So if you want room service, you're paying a $10 delivery fee. But pizza's available. And, and it's... Uh, Okay, pizza. I say it's it's pretty decent pizza. I mean, it's not it's no Pizza Hut, but you whoa, know. Yeah. whoa! People are gonna kill you for that one. <laughs> it's no Pizza Hut. Yeah. Then they got a sandwich station over here. I believe in the morning. I don't wake up in the morning ever, but tomorrow morning I can wake up. I think I usually get my omelet there on the last day, and they even have some fruit carvings, like you could see in midnight buffets back in the day. Um, that one's probably about six months old. Just saying. No, no. I think they do these fresh for every for every uh, cruise. Here's sure, some nice uh, nice cheese and a woman and a watermelon somehow. It's gonna yes. haunt me. And of course oh, the look. salad bar. You know, I, I like to tell people I gave up, gave up salad bar salad for Lent. LOL. I gave it up for wait. Isn't like Easter's coming up like in like three days, right? No, I think it'll be when we're in Vegas. Oh, okay. Easter's at the end of the month. Okay. Right. And I think uh, we have like Easter oh. and then April we, we, Fool's we, we like back something. to back. We missed something. All right. Let's go on outside. So this is something that was actually brought from the, uh, from the other celebrity ships, the newer celebrity ships. This is the Sunset Bar. This used to just kind of be the auxiliary bar of the buffet. Then they rebranded it on a dry dock to the Sunset Bar. And, uh, you know, Kirsten, let me grab a menu real quick. Now remember, we drank this whole bar. Let's give them the perspective. Here, we'll stand here with our drinks. We drank this whole bar, and we uh, we ranked the drinks in this whole bar, didn't we? We did. And there was like, like, like 17 different cocktails they had. And my hair was blowing beautifully in the wind. The clouds were moving by. They've cut it down the sun to, was they've setting cut it, behind us. They've cut it down to eight. Last time I was on board, I talked about this, but I'm just... Like, our favorite ones are not here anymore. I think that's important. And we're gonna, you, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but you're gonna hear that when we get to the Sky Lounge, you know, and other things like that. Again, I'm not, I'm not here to sound like a broken record, but uh, we're here to just tell you how it is. Is it time we go up here, up in the back? Sure. There's some stairs. I can always use some more stairs. A beautiful sunny day at sea today. All right, we're going up the stairs. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God, these stairs are steep. It is hot. It is hot. The stairs are steep. Hey, Kirsten, so let's talk about how old this ship is. This ship, no joke, came out right before the Twin Towers fell. Oh, geez. It's, it's from 2001. That's uh, how wasn't old it the refurbished ship is. in like 2019 or something? Yeah, and they added things like this giant screen over here. Would Which that also have been the time when they what? would have added something like the, um, what's it called, uh, the USB ports and stuff? Is yeah. that when that came? Yeah. Oh, what is this? Uh, turning red? I think this is Wish. What is that movie? So they're, oh, that's they're playing Aisha. Wish up here or yeah. something. Oh, that's and a Wish. There's a lot of seating right now, but it is uh, mostly in the full sun and neither one of us like the full sun, so we're going to keep moving. All right, so let's talk about the other thing that celebrities just randomly added. Pickleball! Because why not? It's everyone, all the rage. Everyone now plays pickleball. 
So they take this basketball court that was made in 2001 and they said, screw basketball, yes pickleball. Whoop. Don't worry, I'm not good at any sport. Uh, you'll see there is actually, if you look down here to the right, person, there is I'm actually- lose my hat. You already lost your hat. There goes my hat. It's a little- uh, We need to get downstairs. I'll hold your hat till we're inside. It's a little, little windy here. You can see my hair going in. All right. I'll take the water slide down. The water slide? Yeah, this is the closest thing we have to a water slide. It's an ADA lift they had to add. This ship was so old that cruise ships didn't follow ADA when the, when the ship came out. So during one dry dock, not the 19, not the uh, 2019 dry dock, but they added this, uh, this is a, a ride. Here, Kirsten, show them the ride. It's the uh, ADA ramp. Elevator, we're not be taking that. Are those steep stairs we were so before? So that now you can go play pickleball even if you're in a wheelchair. So I think we or watch Wish. I think we mysteriously went like, why don't we just go down? You know, that's gotta I've be deck been, 13. We went up two floors. I've been pretty satisfied with the uh, movie options that I've seen. They played Wonka. They're playing Wish now. They're playing things that are like not in theaters, but still pretty no, new. No, I mean Wonka and Wh Wish is on Disney Plus now. Uh, because it did so bad in theaters, they just decided to release it. Come this way. To the left, first. Uh, and Wonka is on HBO Max, the streaming network. But uh, let's talk about cuisine. This, where we're going to, yeah, there's the pool deck. Oh, we, we, can, we can talk about the pool deck. It's quiet up here. So All right. show them the pool deck real quick. That's pool deck. I like to call that human soup. There's a bunch of human soup in that pool deck. You know, when a kid hits the pool, Kirsten, what's the first thing a kid does in the pool? Pees, cries, That pees. is correct. First thing they do is pee. It's like a natural response. Ew. Put someone in a body of water and they pee. Not gonna say I don't go in the pool. Uh, the pools are salt water, but the hot tubs are chlorinated. I think that's important to, for and everyone we, to know. We were in the pool the other day. We were? They had those special uh, chairs that you sit on with like some jets and stuff. The water was nice and warm. Um, but it was very salty. I, I didn't like try to taste it, but you know, you get a couple drops in the Hello, Kirsten. You said there was a little man. You didn't know what to hear from. He's the chef I'm from the La Petite Chef. So this is called Cuisine. This was an original restaurant concept uh, that was came out on the Silhouette. No, you haven't been on the So that's the next ship I'm going on. Unfortunately, Kirsten won't be joining me on the Silhouette, but she's already been on that class of ship. Um, and it was a really fun, imaginative restaurant. And they went ahead and did something different here. They took cuisine, they haven't changed it, but they have a, a little friend for Kirsten. See him, me. I think that's just something they bought at the Swift store. I don't think that's the actual La Petite Chef. But uh, they have this thing called La Petite Chef, the Petite Chef. And you'll see, this is the, this is the good menu. We did the shittier menu. Uh, this one has filet or lobster. And uh, there was no filet or lobster on this cruise included. I think Hello. that's an important thing. Hello. Hello. Yeah, there was no filet or lobster included on this cruise because the cruise lines have gotten cheap. Uh, if the cruise is less than seven days, it's a five day cruise. If the cruise is less than seven days, they're not serving lobster and filet on them anymore. So is that just a menu for another cruise? No, no, then? no, 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 no. I'm talking about included. Like we went mm -hmm. to Tuscan Grill. We had filet at Tuscan Grill. We'll make right. it down there. I'm talking about what is included in the cruise. So no, that's a menu for tonight. They're running two different menus at uh, La Petite Chef. And believe it or not, all La Petite Chef is, it projects onto the table, but it's literally just a DVD with chapter markers and they just advance. So they have two different DVDs <laughs> that they use to play on the tables. You know, I was trying to think of what word would describe that experience. And I hate to say it, but the, the real word that comes to mind is lackluster. Like it's, it's great if you have kids or you're into those cutesy things. The food was good and it was timed very well with like coming out. When, it has to be. That's when part the, of the show was ready for the and, food and like to I said, be ready. It, it, it'll be, it's on this same series of stuff that's coming out. There's going to be 10 videos that are going to come out. It's within that. Uh, we, we did it on the first night of the cruise. Uh, remember, if you do, I was going to say do-do. I'm going to say do-do anyway. What's going on with the pool? There's like no water in it now. I don't know. 
Why is there no water in that pool? pool? Maybe that was just set up for volleyball that way, but I can't say I've ever seen that before. I mean, there was like 40 people playing. Maybe that's how much water they That's displaced. not a displacement thing. Oh, I know who went there. We met this girl on the cruise. I don't have to give everybody inside baseball. Her name was Bobby. She was a pretty big girl. Uh, maybe Bobby went in the pool. Maybe. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so oh, here's a nice view from above in hey, the can we talk about what, can area. we talk about what happened here three weeks ago? What? How, how deep are we in this video? 16 minutes. All right. You, you get me here. Just back it up a little bit. I'm going to tell people about this. I bet you didn't know. So three cruises ago and the next two cruises after we get off this cruise are charters on this ship. And they have a charter that's a swinging charter where this becomes what they call a playroom. And what they do is they put black vinyl over these windows here and I've heard all the swingers come here and they play. Kirsten, do you understand what that means? Sure. So I, I had an offer many years ago. I think it was actually on this ship. It was about 10 years ago they said, would you like to see a playroom in operation? And I, you know what I said, Kirsten. What'd Who I say? Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Kirsten, I'm scarred for life. I had to sign like three documents. They had to get them notarized that I wouldn't sue celebrity for what I saw. Wow. If you ain't ever seen old people in a, what's the time signature on there? 1636. Fuck pile. It was an old person fuck pile. They were just, it, it literally looked like Jabba the Hutt. They were just all piled on each other. And right. you know who I felt the worst for? What? The guys who had to clean up the condoms after. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's move we'll on. Talk about the fuck pile more when we're not in full sun or something. All right. I got Kirsten's hat still. We're going inside. I think we've shown yes. them enough. I it think is still windy. Them. We've shown them enough and of the outside. I'm still holding one beer, so the wind will do whatever it wants to my hair. Right up there, that is the sweet only area. I broke into that on my last tour. We're not doing that now. Uh, but uh, that's the sweet only area. There's not much up there. I think there might be a hot tub up there. Um, but. Uh, if you want to go on a suite on a cruise ship, just go on Yacht Club on MSC. Don't waste your money anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> just right. hope you don't have a problem because they're incapable of solving problems on MSC. But go ahead, Kirsten. Let's talk about where we are now. So now we're at the art statue that's right outside Wait, of is the that Sky art? Bar. It is art. How do I know it's art? It says art. It what? It says art. It says art. It's telling you that it's art. Is it just like the Disney Festival of the Arts or something? You don't see it? No, oh, how do you see it's art? By looking A, R, I see a seagull. T. I see two lines on top of each other. And I see a bookshelf. You really see art? OK. Yeah, I, guess, I guess they say that art is in the eyes of the beholder. Yes. So we got another lounge up here um, called the Sky Lounge. Now. It currently only has one Y, but you see there's space up there, right? Right. There was three Ys there. Kirsten, tell them why there were three Ys there. Because it used to be sponsored by Sky Vodka, and then that ran out, so now it's just the Sky Lounge. And here's what's funny. That ended so badly that they actually don't even serve Sky Vodka on celebrity ships anymore. Why? Because it just ended badly. I'm not going to tell you why it ended. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I do know but I've signed a non-disclosure agreement on that one. But, uh, what's the... What's the well, this is where we come every morning for trivia. Where we? This is where I come every morning for there trivia, and Richard joined one time. Um, this is basically an observation lounge, and I really like it. There's not much color here. Uh, everything is mostly gray, but... You know, if oh, wait, you've so seen everything. Oh, so it's very much like the passenger mix on Celebrities Longer Cruises. I wear. There's not much color here and everything's mostly gray. I am very colorful, as are you. Wow. But this Person, room is very. You that joke, did you? No, I did. What? There's not much colors here and everything's mostly gray. Uh, the yes. room is mostly gray. <laughs> now, anyway. now, I think the important thing is you really can't get out to the front of the ship outside of the ship. You can only get out to the front of the ship inside the ship. Outside the ship is above us, and that's for suites only. That's mm. that deck we talked about that's for suites only. Uh, when they're building newer and newer ships, they're actually, if you're not in a suite of some sort, 
I don't know if you've noticed, you, you don't generally do newer ships. I feel like I'm really close to the camera. Sorry. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> I'm I practicing. She's practicing, yeah. Uh, you know, they um, they make it harder to look out the front of the ship. Uh, then, Here, I'll put my hat back on. Oh, yeah. We're yes. staying inside the rest of this. Maybe, maybe we'll go outside on an open deck for a minute, but not that much. So this is where I come for trivia, and they do have this screen behind us. But this room is already so well lit that it's very hard to see what is on the screen. Also, like many other cruise ships, uh, they repeat some of their trivia. No. So you and like 10 other people get to look like geniuses while the rest of the people are Can like, you spell What's... genius with a J? Genius. Genius. I mean, I guess you could incorrectly. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get away from this copywritten music. Uh, all, right. all right, let's well, go. Or maybe not, like someone stopped playing it immediately. But they got a bar in here too. It's uh, never really that busy or oh, anything. Oh wait, can we talk about this bar? Sure. Uh, let's talk about Hello. the... Uh, let's talk about the... Are you open yet? Not yet? Yeah, open. Do you have the menu for the the, the, the bar menu? You know why I want this, Kirsten. I do. I'll tell you though, they don't offer very many trivias on this ship. Um, usually one at 10.15 in the morning and one at... I'm going to get in the afternoon. What's your favorite drink? What's your favorite cocktail? Plenty serving. What? Plenty. You can go for the sex on the beach. Okay. You can make me some sex on the beach. I'm going to have sex on the beach with my, Min Pao? My, my, my pal. Okay. Very unique name. <laughs> I, I, mahi. Mahi Mahi. No, that's my pal. That's yes. my pal. We're gonna have. I'm gonna have sex on the beach with my pal. Oh, okay. But let's okay. let's talk for a minute. Yes, let's talk for a minute. So the Sky Lounge was originally sponsored by Sky Vodka, and uh, me and Kirsten did a review of this. Uh, all the drinks they had here. And they had 12 drinks in the Sky yes. Lounge. One for each. Now you know where I'm going. One yeah. for each astrological sign. So let's count the number of drinks together. Taurus. That's one sign. Aquarius, two. Libra, three. Leo, four. Capricorn, five. Cancer, six. And no more astrology for us. So, not only, again, this is nobody's fault on board this ship, but not only is it no longer at the Sky Lounge, it also, the theming, doesn't even make sense, does it? Plus, uh, what was the, the good drink was the... Pisces. The Pisces. That was like a... Bailey's Kahlua sandwich, right? Minutes. It was a creamy chocolatey drink, yeah. Our scavenger hunt. Oh, God, a scavenger hunt. Oh, that sounds fun. I love those. I also love the Yes No game. That one's happening tonight. Do you love it? I, I do love it. But not yes. I'll say I do love it. Because you can't say yes or no. To take do you like touching children? I do not. I okay. see the team <laughs> Unless the it's features. to just give them a platonic hug. Right. Good are child. So I'm, I'm waiting for my Less I'm waiting for my sex minutes. on the beach. Thank no, you. we're not going to be doing the digital scavenger hunt. Um, but my pal, which that, that that name, some people would say that name's not real. I'd say it's new. If you don't understand that joke, um, I made a short, which I explained why so many crew members are named FNU. They're kind of phasing it out, but uh, in a lot of uh, countries of the world, people don't actually use first names. So FNU stands for first name unknown. You just be junior, senior, junior, junior, senior, senior, or they actually like the third, the fourth, the fifth. I encountered that when I was in Vietnam and yeah. in uh, Bali and Indonesia. They just didn't have first names. Where everybody was like junior, 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 stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that's that's a FNU, or first name unknown. Uh, I'm going to finish my red stripe. Yes, and I'm going to try to finish my Moretti. But um, one of the other things that we wanted to do with it being my my turn to take a video was to talk about a few of the differences between uh, my Thank my you, two favorite cruise lines, Norwegian well, and MSC. I would love to do that, but let's do it in transit. Sounds good. Get away from copyrighted music. All right, so... Uh, this is your second celebrity cruise. Right. And you have done the most cruises with MSC, correct? No, actually Norwegian and MSC is number two. Okay. Uh, and you are the top loyalty status in Norwegian? I am not. The top is- Because they is, need new ones? The top is ambassador and you need seven, 
750 points for that. And Kirsten is a... Um, I'm platinum. Yeah, and, so, and look, let's not lie. You're, you're an inside cabin cruiser. I am. So, you know, now they've made it so you get more points if you book a balcony. You get more points if you know that. You get more oh, points. Oh, yeah, like they, triple you know, points here and there if you book the most expensive week in Alaska. You know, stuff yeah. like that. So, um... So before before we before we go, I, I want to get back to your thing, and we will as soon as we do it. I, but there's something up here I want to show people. So turn it around. Oh, We're not going to show kids. We're not going to show kids. I don't think there's an arcade up here. Uh, oh yeah. So I want I want to show everybody the nightclub on board here. Uh, it's called the X Club. This is a spring break cruise, isn't it, Kirsten? It is. What do you think people think the X Club is when they come up here? Do they think this is the nightclub? Yes, they do. But it's the teen program. That's right. And there's only one cruise line where it's acceptable to the nightclubs, the teen program. Virgin? And that's MSC. Oh, MSC. <laughs> for those of you who got that joke, that was for you. I'm not explaining it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not explaining that joke. All right, Kirsten. Let's, uh, let's uh, take the stairs down a floor or two. Talk okay. about your differences between your two lines that so, you like. I'm going to. Uh, this I'm is... going to have sex on a beach with my pal while Kirsten just talks to the camera for a minute. So, I won't interrupt her unless they're. <laughs> oh God! I just only interrupted. Only 400 her. times. I won't interrupt so, you until we get down to deck uh, five. Or unless you find a valid reason to interrupt me. Oh, like going to the <laughs> spa right here. <laughs> so this is my second celebrity cruise. I also did the celebrity reflection uh, recently with Richard. And Let me stop for a minute to talk. Just we'll talk. go ahead and. Um, Nah, just talk for a second, then we'll All show right. them the spa. So, so I did do the celebrity reflection with Richard um, a couple of months or a few weeks ago. So Last there. year, it's kind of important. Last celebrity year. Celebrity did a lot of changes in 2024. Uh, reflection was a sleepy old ship, but the cocktails were good. Yeah, and they had the full menus everywhere we went. Well, what I'm saying is, I can make any cocktail I want on this ship still, let's be very clear. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about a unique selling proposition. You're familiar with what that is. It's, I don't know Norwegian. I don't sail Norwegian. Yeah. Does Norwegian have some cool cocktails they make themselves and stuff like that? See, or? this is the difference between me and you. When you go on a cruise, you go to the bars and you check out the bar menus. When I cruise on Norwegian, I I actually don't have any drinks at all. I might just have a beer here or, here or there that I pay for. I I never look at like when the bars are open. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention something now that you're saying that. I'm going to have to put this in the title because uh, Kirsten had to do four takes to start this video. Uh, this is a casino comped cruise. It is. I didn't mention that up front. And the casino took care of drinks as well. So, I mean, that's, they did. that's important to yes. disclose, but Thank you. also truthful. Go on. So, when I cruise Norwegian um, or MSC, I am always paying for it. I never pay for a drink, I prepay. A drink package. By, I, by, by losing the, I don't win losing the casino, but I prepay. I am a CPA, which means cheapest people alive. And I uh, love to play the games specifically on Norwegian. MSC has some really good games too. I don't even know what she's talking about. I specifically love the quest. Uh, we have played the quest. Yeah, one I had time. to put on her underwear and my balls were popping out like puppies in a hamper. I said that out loud on camera. <laughs> you you are so full of weird sayings you, you that, know, you know that likely saying, include you? your balls. So. You know puppies in a hamper, right? <laughs> you ever you ever okay, look. Sorry, Kirsten likes birds. I don't really like birds. But I've been to Kirsten's house before and she keeps all the baby birds in the bathroom in a basket, right? A, a few and, of them. And don't they always want to get out of the basket? They do. Birdies in a basket, like puppies in a hamper, uh -huh. like my balls in your underwear. Oh, great. Okay, so now we got we got birdies in a basket. You know, I would have picked different underwear that day if I would have known, you know, where it was going to go. But the uh, the quest is super, super fun. I would say on Carnival. It's better. It's, the ships um, that still do it. It's, it's like R to X rated. And on MSC, uh, it is G rated. Um, it's kind of like a physical scavenger hunt where you have to, you know, like come to the, come up to the stage like wearing a woman's underwear or. You know what's funny? See, Kirsten's in her late 30s. We don't give exact ages out. And I like to say we round up to the, to the next 40, right? So she's in her late 30s. She's already 40. Yeah, they only do that for women. For men, they just, they, they get that salt and pepper and they look better. Yeah. I'm just saying. Kirsten likes to go on cruise ships like an old lady, it seems. 
so she might as well be 80. Be loving the trivia, loving the yes, no games. <laughs> and I've noticed on Celebrity as well <clears throat> that a lot of the games here, such as the trivia this morning, it's against the officers. Yeah. And I think that that's because uh. the crowd here tends to, not this cruise because it's spring break, but the other cruise we did, um, the crowd I, I, was I will more seasoned. You. I will tell you why it is. No, it's actually very, yeah. it's different, but you're right, but you're wrong, but you're right, but you're wrong. Uh, Celebrity is the only cruise line that really focuses, they, I'd say they focus the most on what they call officer engagement and visibility. So it's actually a question that's on their survey still. Hmm. So they're trying to get the score up on that question because they oh. ask on the question you have to rank from one to five or one to ten i don't remember celebrity scale is officer engagement and visibility so that's why they do all the stupid officer activities and things like that um so did you want to say more while we look let's look in the spa real quick sure we're not going to show anybody getting a spa treatment or anything but if it's just to show the spa um, the spa the most expensive place on the ship other than the casino uh, we haven't been to the garbage room yet have we oh we haven't uh so yeah there's the spa Hair salon, all that. It was with Spa Can Salon. It was with a company called Canyon Ranch. Now they're back with One World, which is Steiner, uh, the biggest third parties, Steiner Leisure, biggest third party spa company in the world. The only cruise line that's still using their own spa anymore is MSC. Uh, and I think that's an interesting, I guess that's a good segue. <laughs> Back to MSC, because we didn't really talk about MSC as much, you know? They have great mozzarella cheese, especially on the Maravaglia. But uh, they have course, it on all the ships. But they're, yes. they're an Italian company. Well, they're the, the MSC Ponzi scheme. Let's call it what it is. Kirsten's not been on an MSC cruise with them yet, but she's going to get to go to Yacht Club in uh, June, July of... It's like one day in June. June, July of 2024. Uh, Kirsten, what do you think? Should we show them the disaster of the cabin? We're on deck nine anyway. Let's do it. Oh, it is a disaster. It's a disaster. Let's go right ahead. Um, this is the cabin we got. Comp by the casino. I'm not one to complain. My whole cost of this cruise was taxes, port fees, and $90 each of us in gratuities. I think it came out to about 400 bucks was the entire cost of the cruise all in five day cruise uh, where we went it's not super important because we're reviewing the ship but we went to uh, Nassau and to Cozumel two sea days this is the second sea day and let's go in let's look at the disaster that is I mean this is what the room looks like all the time so we have a uh, technology central happening yeah. over here we do we have a lot of technology uh, we got beds that are all, well, my beds, I don't even get under the covers. Uh, talk about plugs, you got one American outlet, one European outlet, and what's also really nice is there is an American outlet by the bed, uh, by the bed. Uh, I think that that's a new innovation. The, uh, the two American outlets that are by the bed. It's kind of a new thing here on Rich the ship. Richard's got his poker chips and I have my earplugs to be able to survive sleeping in the same room with Richard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a snoring bear and we are not inserting clip here. We are not. Kirsten said she took a video last night. At 3328, we are not inserting a clip here. And good luck. Anyway. Kirsten so don't know how to edit video. Here is our tiny restroom. And Still bigger than Virgin. The thing that I really want to point out about this restroom is how little the storage is. So we've got like our cups up here, and then we have this other little, you know, shelf that I put some crap on. And then we have like this area, but there is literally no other storage unless you want to put something all the way down with this toilet paper. I do really like that nightlight though, it keeps the restroom lit of it course does. at night time I don't without, have to turn on the without having to turn on the light and crack the yeah. door open and yeah um our room is beautiful it's actually kind of lacking in some artwork though again it's uh it's lacking in colors yes it's lacking in colors and there's a lot of gray seems to kind of be the theme of this ship am I wrong a lot of gray so for celebrity we are yeah. one deck we are one deck down from the buffet let's give them some locational to where we are. Yeah, we're one deck. Oh, Kirsten just, Kirsten just downed her beer. You can show yourself downing your beer. There you go. Like a little gerbil. Uh, or baby bird. Um, so, essentially, we showed you deck 13. I think that's where the screen was. Remember how we had to go up, like, twice? Right. So, I think the screen and the, um, 
the what should be the racket thing pickleball, pickleball court. We're on deck thirteen. That we showed you eleven, where we had the sky lounge. You had the cuisine. We showed you ten with the solarium, the the spa cafe, the uh, buffet, and the the bar in the back. So we've shown you the outside decks. Now we're going to continue down and show you the inside decks. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, you're leaving your beer. Okay. I'm just leaving my empty right. bottle. Let's close this down. Hey, I'll tell you another thing this cabin doesn't have, which is nice. Kirsten, when you have a ship from 2001, they don't build a stupid place right here. Turn it around. That you have to put your card to keep your air conditioning on. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really annoying. I just lose my room key on the first day. Or take a, you know, it's like Indiana Jones. You know, you can just stick any card in there. No, though. some of the new ones, it has to actually be a key from that ship. It's, it doesn't, it's, it's not a physical thing. It's actually reading the RFID chip. Hmm. But if you just lose your room key and you put another one there, then you're good. You know, when I was in sixth, gr sixth grade, I had to write a paper on what I thought the future was going to be. Yeah, let's go down. And something I thought that would be in the future more, like what is the future? And you know what I, you know what I, uh, Flying I cars. selected? Flying cars. Digital technology. What, what do you mean? Like, uh, you know, you gotta be everything, specific. everything becoming computerized, like, like it has. No, it hasn't. Have you checked in for an MSC cruise? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a funny joke because it's true, isn't it? You're so awful. Am I wrong, Kirsten? You're, you're so many flavors of awful. <clears throat> have you checked in for an MSC cruise recently? I, I have to tell you, MSC does have the worst website of any cruise ship I have ever, uh, or any cruise line well, I've ever dealt with. You've yet to sail on Margaritaville at sea. That's all I'm saying, Kirsten. Yeah. Neither have I. You, I, wanna, you, I want, just, you have any interest in going on Margaritaville at sea? Um, I mean, if it's free, I'll go. For the I'm, memes? I'm not going to like. For the memes? Yeah, but I'm not going to like pay for that. I mean. I wouldn't pay for it either. There should be, you know, lots of parrot stuff I could probably all right, buy. Let's, uh, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, here, no, no, we're not, we're, we're just looking at the, the, the thing. So, we shall review. Red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, yellow. You, you get that. You get that reference, don't you? Bloodwood van Dock. Uh, oh my gosh. Red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, yellow, red, green, red, blue. Okay. So. Obscure Disney reference. You're welcome. Uh, sports deck. That was where they were playing pickleball. Rooftop terrace. That's where the movie was going on. We didn't show you a lot. Retreat sun deck. That's where we couldn't get to. That's the outside place to look over from the ship. Mast bar. Yeah, we walked by it. It's a bar. Uh, cuisine. Which this should say, Anna, I am Tiny Chef. I am here to annoy Kirsten. Wee wee wee. Come with my family. Okay. Uh, Sky Lounge. The X Club, which is the teen program or the nightclub, depending if you're on an MSC ship. The Solarium, Spa Cafe, Pool Bar and Grill, Pool, Ocean View Cafe, Sunset Bar, and the Spa. We've done that part of the ship. Now, what do we have to do, Kirsten? Go down. There we go. For some people, it's hard to go down. For me, I somewhat enjoy it. That was not meant to be a double entendre. It's a lot easier to go downstairs than it is to go up them. What are you sick people thinking watching this channel? Okay, so now we're down in the other part of the ship, deck five. Uh, the top level of the theater is, I think, here. So let's uh, take a peek in the theater. Now, Kirsten, <laughs> look, let's not lie. Kirsten has not made it to any shows in the theater because she has been passed out at the times that all the shows in the theater are happening. Am I lying, Kirsten? No. Kirsten goes <laughs> really drunk, and she goes, I'm going to take a nap. Make me up for dinner. Not really drunk, just moderately drunk. 0.12. It's true. Could you drive? No. Okay. But, but I wouldn't try either. I know. That's why anyway, we drink on cruise ships. Rehearsal in progress. Rehearsal so. in progress. But that's the theater. Uh, the shows literally have not changed since I worked here 10 years ago. Same comedian, same everything. Uh, I will tell you on the last, well, it was this ship. On the last celebrity ship I was on, which was this ship, they really had a great entertainer. I did not make it to the entertainer last night because I was getting my next free cruise in the casino. <laughs> they had a great entertainer called the Boy Band Project. You would have loved that, that they weren't on this ship, so not a big deal. And it was a uh, boy bands. I actually, here, here's some, it was boy bands. They were doing like, it was a five piece boy band. And they did all the boy band songs, like O-Town, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. It was friggin' glorious. But now, we're down in the shops on deck five. Let's, let's tell everybody, let's tell everybody some truth right now for a minute. Hey, Kirsten. Yeah? Is it cheaper to just buy this crap on Amazon? 
Probably. Oh, not probably. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, and there's, there's a person on this ship that I feel the worst for. Do you know who the person on this ship, and every, every cruise ship, that I feel the worst for? It's not the guys who fix the clogged toilets. A lot of people are like, no, it's the guys who fix the clogged toilets. No, I don't feel the worst for the guys that clean the clog, fix the clogged toilets. I feel the worst. Is it for the guys trying to sell watches? <laughs> you better believe it. Hey, look, Apple Watch, Apple Watch. You got money, you buy an ultra Apple Watch, <laughs> or you know somebody who had an Apple Watch, and I'm just had an Apple Watch before, and they hand you down an Apple Watch. I'm just kidding. I have a, uh, I have a clock piece of trivia for you. It's about time. Yeah. So what, what time piece has the most moving parts? Ooh. 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 Can I ask a question? Sure. Is it a trick question? A little bit. It is a time piece. It's the Earth. No. Big an, Ben. An hourglass. Okay, see, I knew it was a trick question. <laughs> I knew it was a trick question. Every grain of sand. But here's the question, though. I think you're wrong. Really? I think you're wrong. Then you need to tell the people that did 9 a.m. trivia this morning while you were sleeping. <laughs> because the actual answer, are there, in an in a, in a hourglass of sand, right? Mm -hmm. Are there more than seven and a half billion pieces of sand? I don't know. Well, so you think the Earth is there's the There's seven and a half billion people. The Earth is a timepiece that times a day, and there's seven and a half billion moving people on Earth, isn't it? I guess that is a uh, way to interpret that question. That's the way I was interpreting it. Did anybody get hourglass? Uh, yes, someone did. Yeah, because someone one, heard it four cruises ago. One person, and we all applauded for her. Yeah, she felt special. That's the only time she felt special that day. Uh, Here's you know all I'm the right. fragrances. Then you got the liquor store on the other side. And the, ooh, a feather dress. Nope, and a feather the, dress. And the crap from the there, gift shop. Show them the liquor store. Let me teach you something about the liquor store. It's always cheaper in port. That's oh, Kirsten, this way, you got some behind you. And you uh. want to know why? It's because of inelasticity of demand. People here have no other choice if you eh. want to buy it. And this That's is not 100% true. Choice, it's not 100% true. It's not 100% true. buy it here. No, it's not that. It's because the cruise line takes 20% of the of the gross revenue that comes into the shops but they can because of elasticity in elasticity of demand oh yeah i mean uh, and also this thing called onboard credit you wanted to show them the liquor store though i was just talking about the liquor uh, store i didn't need to actually okay. show it to them uh now let's talk about something that's a uh, unique on celebrity and i'm not gonna lie there was a point in time when i actually did work in this shop right here so uh let's see who's here Let's see who I can bother. Let's see who I can bother. Okay, come, 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 come here. We're gonna bother Roberto. So, uh, this is iLounge. Um, I'm gonna choose my words carefully. Um, most of the Apple equipment they sell is an antique. <laughs> and it's new in box. Am I wrong? Don't say a word. You don't need to get yourself in trouble. I, I, I do have to say they have a MacBook Pro M1 that's still at full price. Best Buy selling these for around uh, $700 now. Uh, and uh, there is a current model of the iPad mini right here. But you know what's funny? I was actually the guy 10 years ago who came up with the idea of using these. Is your, is your picture still on that one cruise ship? Yeah, it's on, it's on the Equinox. My okay. picture's still on the wall on the Equinox because they're too lazy to change it. But you see these things right here? This is what they use to actually um, show you who your waiter is in the dining room. I was drunk one night in the dining room and I stole one of these and I started using it to, to put the prices in and they've done it ever since. It's just one of those really funny things. But um, yeah, hey, uh, fun question. Do you have any Apple Watches in stock? Unfortunately, of course not, know. okay. <laughs> Respect. I, I did say, I did say, you know, they're keeping you from getting Apple Watches because they want the watch store to get business. Oh. The person I feel the worst for on the ship is the people that run the watch store. Cause ain't nobody want a real watch no more. Okay. Have a good one. Oh, Kirsten, you got to remember, you got to get your gelato. Yes. You got free gelato. You got to get your free gelato. Today, after. Okay. Now, important. Coffee bar here. Two fun facts about the coffee bar. Number one, all these treats are included. Number two, we're not waiting for coffee. But number two, Kirsten, show them that corner right there. What's that? That is the alcohol section. Yeah, yeah. You could put any kind of alcohol you want in your drink. Uh, Unlike on 
So it's kind of weird because I told you on solstice class when we were on reflection that the bar actually runs from here, that all the bar runs from here. That's actually not true on this class of ship because they don't have a pantry big enough. The main section of the bar is actually running through the casino. But uh, we always get our, uh, I get hot chocolate with Bailey's Me or too. Kahlua or Irish whiskey or, you know, whatever. Oh, let's come over here. Bailey's, Kahlua, Kahlua Irish whiskey, whatever. Uh, and we were talking about, you know, when we were up in the buffet, how, how long it was? How long is the video right now? 45.23. So when we were up in the buffet 30 minutes ago, 35 minutes ago, we we're talking about that they have both a soft serve and hard scoop ice cream. Uh, but they also have gelato here. Now again, the gelato here is an upcharge, but if you're any respectable level of Captain's Club, you get one free one a cruise. So uh, we, we gotta come back and get it because I told Carson she can have it. Um, let's continue on. Act five. So Richard, yes. here's another piece of trivia for Go you. Go ahead, I love trivia. Do you, do you know what the first Solstice class ship was? I mean, yes, it was Solstice. That's right. Wow, that was hard. Courtesy of 9 a.m. trivia. Wow. Or shall I say 1015. Huh. I'm used to it being 9, 930 on either MSC or Norwegian. The celebrity ships actually have the latest morning trivia of any... Uh, and they closed the bars the earliest. Like, what the hell? Now, we did a review on the reflection of the whole menu with Sushi on 5. Let's talk about that. Uh, it's the same Sushi on 5. Yoshi Akata, buddy of mine, really good guy, Michelin star chef, uh, actually made Sushi on 5 for Celebrity. I don't like sushi, and I still like it. I do think it's a little bit overpriced, but... Uh, I will tell you, the best value food on board, and Kirsten, I think, will agree with me here. Um, the best value food overall on board for the, for the price paid, I think Tuscan Grill was really, really good. It was. Uh, a lot better than La Petite Chef. Uh, but, uh, you know, Sushi on 5 is a la carte pricing. I think that's the important thing to know, is it is a la carte pricing. So, you know, things build up there uh, very quickly in the expense world. Now we've got Cellar Masters. What this is... There are two, actually, I'm just thinking before I, before I put a foot in my mouth. Solstice class ships, right? There's really, yeah, there's two bars on the Solstice class ships that are serving the dining room. Cellar Masters gets really busy right before dinner, really busy right after dinner. And there's, uh, this is for up here is the fixed seating dinner. So the uh, 5.30 and 8.30 or 6 and 8.30, I don't know. We don't like to do fixed seating dinner. We like to... I finish in the casino, I tell Kirsten it's time for dinner. Kirsten stumbles out of her drunken stupor in bed. Am I wrong? Terrible. Am I wrong? Sometimes. This cruise, am I wrong? I have needed some extra rest. Yeah, okay. I have been working hard. Or hardly working. Uh, but, <laughs> that's good to you. So yeah, this gets, this gets really busy right before or after dinner. And this is where I think I finished all the tequilas the other day. <laughs> Finished all the tequilas there. Um, but uh, this is the fixed seating din dining room right here. Uh, we'll jump in. Uh, I think we, we did the dining room the last two nights, right? Yes. The nice thing about the dining room on Celebrity, I'm going to talk about MSC kind of badly, which you'll never hear me generally talk about MSC kind of badly. I haven't looked at the menu for tonight. What we got tonight? The escargot is great. It's here every night. Ugh. Mm, that does not look like a very good... Uh, ooh. Uh, that's actually good. The homemade gnocchi. Um, too much beets. We got the mushrooms. Again? Okay, come. So the only thing that's nice about celebrity um, is, generally speaking, you're gonna sit with just your party. MSC, you know, they always cram you with other people, correct? I mean, unless you're in yacht club or something like that. You know, and they do the dining my way on Norwegian as well. And I always would ask for a table that is happy to share because I love meeting new people. You can talk, point it to yourself when you're talking. Just I saying. love meeting new people. Come to dinner with me on a cruise ship somewhere. Yay! Unfortunately, the escalator's not running, so we can't take it right now. Uh, but so this is the, we're on the fifth floor of the dining room. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down to the fourth floor of the dining room right now. Again, this is the um, flexible dining, anytime dining. We've gotten in here and we've kind of eaten right away. The menus are the same across Celebrity. Uh, in my opinion, their dining menus are slightly better than Royal Caribbean. Um, 
their menus are much better than the main dining room in MSC with a comma, the comma. They're much better than the main dining room in MSC if you're not getting Italian food on MSC. If you go on MSC, you just have to learn to love Italian food. Do not go order a cheeseburger on MSC. It tastes like a cardboard. But uh, I'd say that it, it, MSC Yacht Club, I'd say, is about a celebrity's main dining room uh, standard program. Uh, how would you compare it to Norwegian? The dining? Yeah, the main dining here. I think it's pretty good, but I'm, I'm not too picky. But the cheese on MSC, now that's really special. And, and the amount of prosciutto you can get on MSC for free. You know, we, we got three pieces of prosciutto when we went to, I probably could have gotten more if I asked, but when we went to Tusky Grill, I got three pieces of prosciutto to be realistic, you know, on MSC, how easy it's to find prosciutto. Pretty, Pretty easy. damn easy. How easy is it to find, uh, not Reggiano, um, but you can find a Parmigiano Romano pretty easily on right. MSC. It's still really hard to find Reggiano or Romano here, to what's be perfectly the, honest. What's the difference between these Parmesans? Uh, about five times the cost. Really? Yeah, it's the region it's from. It's a regional thing. We're coming down here. So it's like the champagne of Parmesans? Yes! Which yes. one is? Parmigiano Reggiana. Ah. Reggiano is the champagne of Parmesans. That's exactly it. Now, what we're doing right down here, we went to Tuscan Grill earlier on in the cruise. Um, and you know what I forgot to do, Carson? I forgot to take a selfie. So just, uh, just, just help the internet. No, no, no. You don't look at that camera for two seconds. This is an awful picture. I'm not saying you, but just come here. For, keep that camera rolling. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit of how the, how the meatballs are made. And uh, the meatballs are really good here, actually. Uh, but this is Tuscan Grill. This is the upcharge. This used to be... Normandy, don't even try, Chris. It's kind of an advanced trying, move. I was, uh, oh, <laughs> advanced. Yeah. Um, so this used to be Normandy, which was named after a restaurant on the Titanic. Great omens there, guys. Uh, but this is an upcharge specialty dining venue. I think it was like 50 bucks a person, plus they added gratuity. So it came out to like 130 for two people or so. Um, but this one is... Anything you want to eat. I think we had every appetizer on the menu, if I'm, if I'm correct. Yeah, we had every appetizer on the menu and a lot of the main dishes on the menu, but we did mess up because I like lobster and filet mignon, and the filet mignon did not taste as good because we got a lobster dish that was really rich, so it took a lot of the flavor away from the filet. So if you're going to come here and you're going to get the filet, don't also get the lobster alfredo because the alfredo makes the filet not taste as good. That's kind of weird, huh? Let's, let's take a look over here. They actually have an open concept kitchen where you can kind of see what's going on there. Uh, that's a utility cleaner right there. It's just cleaning up. Um, but here's the galley that's specifically for the Tuscan Grill. And I think they're open from like 6 until 9 or 9.30. But again, it is an upcharge. And I will tell you something that we noticed. They do use, this is rare on cruise ships, actual candles. Kirsten. Put the camera to yourself and explain why actual candles are rare on cruise ships. Because fire is the biggest danger to a cruise ship. If you get a fire started, it could be impossible well, to Billy get Joel out. Said, Billy, Billy Joel said it was a big, big issue. You know why? What? Because he didn't start the fire. Yeah. It was always burning yes. since the world's been turning. Right. He, so he, fire is the most dangerous thing to a cruise ship. And so for them to invite fire is uh, a little odd. So here's what's funny. Also, what I like about this ship, you're going to say, what the hell, Rich? Uh, the elevators are dumb. Dumb elevators are better than smart elevators. Smart elevators are like fast passes. Kirsten's not been on MSC. Uh, well, Kirsten has been on MSC, but Kirsten's not been on MSC in Yacht Club. You know that when you're in a Yacht Club, you get an elevator fast pass? Wow. And you can just make the elevators come to you. I look forward to it. And it just takes you directly to where you need to go. Great. And it makes I can't the wait. And it makes the elevators not work for normies. The elevators for normies are awful on MSC. <laughs> because all them yacht cup people be using the fast pass. What's it smell like, Kirsten? It smells in here. It smells like there was some garbage here earlier. Some hot garbage in here? Yeah. Some Peter Max hot garbage? Extra hot. Let's, 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 let's learn a phrase right now, everybody. Say it with me now. G Clay. G Clay. G Clay. G Clay. G Clay. G Clay. Hey, Kirsten, 
Are you familiar with Theosauruses? Theosauruses. Thesaurus? Yes! Theosaurus I. Thesaurus. Thesaurus I. G clay means what? Photocopy. Yes! Now let's try again. Hand embellished G clay means what? Scribble, scribble, photocopy. Scribble, scribble on a photocopy. See, look, look. Kirsten is a master artist. Uh, if right. you think, if you, some of you might go, oh, the drink package, it's a scam. Oh, this is a scam. The spa, it's a scam. What's the biggest scam on any cruise ship? The art. Because they tell you it's a limited edition. Collect this piece. I think we need to do this. Like Christopher Walken. Step back a little bit out of the copywritten music zone. Hello. I'm coming to you from Park West Gallery, and I want to tell you about this one of a kind. <coughs> 600 more. One of a kind. Work of art. It's a hand embellished chicle. Translation. Photocopy. With? Scribbles. Yes, that's a hand embellished chicle. Uh, and I want to sell it to you. We usually start selling it. We usually, I'll give you back to Chris Walker. We usually start selling it at a price of $20,000. But specifically for you, you collect us. $4.99. Best price. $499. I, I was going $4.99. Uh, <laughs> Kirsten, you're not even covering the Kinko's costs there. I mean, FedEx office. Kinko's went out of business years ago. <laughs> they killed that brand. Martini bar. So this is the martini bar. You know what I also call the martini bar? I call the martini bar the, pa the drink package upgrade bar. Um, I think there's one martini you can get here that's on the classic package and everything else on the premium package. So they tell you... For just the cost of one martini a day, you could upgrade your drink package. I think I might need that snowflake martini. I think that we might have ranked that like number four. Four or five. When it was we under did the our... toffee apple. Here. That was a very good Here, one. Here, hold too. on, hold on. I think they can do it. They can do it. The other well, special thing about this bar is that it is um, it is coated in snow. Yeah, talk about the bar for a minute. You no gotta one keep talking. No one has etched uh, Trump into it this time. Yet? Yet. Oh, geez. But. Trump 24. There's a whole nother. Um, Can I get a snowflake and there's a There's a whole nother video of Richard and I on the celebrity reflection playing around at the martini bar, which and was what quite did beautiful. I do? And it was 100% covered with snow and Can you read what Richard. It says Can you see what it says there? Oh, geez. What's it say? It says Trump 24. What did you just say? It says Trump 24. Is he going to win an election for the third time? I think that's how many felony counts he might have. Oh, no, 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 no. no. How many consecutive life sentences? 420. Uh, no, fel fel felony accounts are 240. <laughs> MPF. And that's, that's Trump. That's his real name. Yes. You know that, right? Yeah, there's the whole John Oliver on that. Yeah, yeah, it's Donald. Look, I changed it to Trump 240. So look, those of you who were like, he's a Republican, then, then I changed it and I went Democratic by making fun of him. Here's the thing. I think both me and Kirsten would rather have a libertarian leading the country. That's right. Uh, because I do believe that taxation is theft. Me too. But, uh, you know. So I like to say, uh, so I, I think my ideal ticket... You're going to laugh? Would be Stossel Gillette. Stossel? Like John Stossel? Yes! Like what's inside this box? Let's have a four-hour special while we break into a safe John Stossel? Uh, no, you are confusing that. Four-hour box while it's in the safe, that's Geraldo Rivera. Yes! John Stossel and Geraldo yes. Rivera are two completely different, different I haven't, people. Just I haven't put on your damn face. Thought, I haven't thought about either of these people in the longest time. Yeah, so John I feel Stossel, like they're brothers, basically. I mean, like their mother waited like 25 years between having them, and her eggs got a little bad for John, but, uh, do you, but do you know who Gillette is? Stossel Gillette. Did he make razors? No, with a J, that was a G. <laughs> Gillette is Penn Gillette of Penn and Teller. Oh, yeah. He's a libertarian too. Yes, I know that. And if you watch any of their specials or anything, it usually does leak through. Toffee Apple, Snowflake, thank you. 
Yes. Dirty secret. You can order any drink at the martini bar in a rocks glass. Kirsten, why might you do that? So it doesn't uh, knock over? I mean, we know that firsthand. But why also might you do that is uh, so you can take your drink and go to the casino. Now, I'm going to teach Kirsten. Uh, I'm going to teach Kirsten. We have to the tell them. We do not have to turn off the camera. We I'm have to tell them one more thing, though, yes, about this bar. Yes. That they need to watch the martini bar video. Oh, I yeah. Think you have sure. a, you have a short on it. Oh, that I licked the um, bar and I got my tongue stuck there. He and I went, got his <laughs> tongue stuck on the reflection, and that's just worth mentioning. And I bled out on the bar. He did. He that did. That was pretty funny. I'm finishing my. Uh, this is so great because I can now double fist. I could never hear. Come, just come to the side. There's we got to cheers to first. Oh my okay, god, that's cheers. good. Okay, here we go. All right, Kirsten, walk with me. Uh, I'm gonna I teach love you this white cream in my mouth. Oh my god, you're sick. Um, let's talk about the casino and how we're about to do what we're about to do. All right. We are going to not cut the footage, but we are going to walk through the casino. We are going to keep the camera fixated on our faces, not point at any players or anything. It's going to be a very tight shot. Uh, we'll make some noise. No, I'm saying we'll make some noise when we go through. I do have a full review of this casino that I did a couple months ago, and I have a best strategies to play the games on the casino that is uh, going to be posted before this video that I shot yesterday. So, uh, and then we'll get out on the other side. But uh, this is the casino. We'd like to give uh, the casino a cheers. Here, hey, cheers. cheers to uh, providing plenty of free cruises uh, for, for many years. Again, we're not filming in the casino. We are walking through the casino because, uh, well, I guess, why did Richard and Kirsten go to the casino? I guess to get to the other side, cross the road. What's the yeah. question? Go ahead, run in front of me. Go ahead. We had, we had the single file line that. Richie is way too fat to make that side you know, by side. I used to spend a lot of time in Circus Circus when I was younger. Oh no, my you're mother, gonna spend time in Circus Circus in like 10 my, days. My mother and grandmother enjoyed gambling. Okay, we're out um, and stuff. All right. But I just was gonna say that one of my first times walking through a casino. Turn around. All right, I'm gonna teach Carson something. Internet. Watch. Bad light, good light. God, you understand now. Yeah, yes, bad I light, good light. I just couldn't have the casino behind me. You can not have bit. the casino behind you. It's fine. Um, I just was going to say, one of my first times walking through Circus Circus, I saw a chip just laying in the bottom of a uh, slot machine. and I got to tie my shoe, so you stay on you. You talk. <laughs> And it was worth five dollars, and I was like seven. But I knew I knew well enough that I shouldn't, you know, make a big show of it. That I was like taking a chip or uh, or like showing it to my mom. Oh, Kirsten. I just took it, got out, and made five bucks as a so seven-year-old at Circus Circus. Serious question: You've been to Vegas in the past couple of years, or no? Yeah. Did you gamble when you were there? Uh, not very much, a little bit. But did you go to all the hotels and gamble a little bit at each hotel, or no? Nah, half of them. Okay, we're gonna see what we can get Kirsten in free money. We're gonna see how much free money we can make in Vegas with Kirsten's free play that she can get for signing up for the things. But th that's for Vegas. That's that at the end of the great. month. We need to pick some shows. Well, here's what's funny, pick Kirsten. Some restaurants. You know what's amazing? I'm, I'm doing the timeout. By the time they're watching this video, we will already be in Vegas. And the video that's gonna come after this video is gonna be Vegas. You know, we could be at the Candy Martini Bar in Vegas. We like, could be. Right now. I but... mean, while you're watching this, it's it's very possible. No, no, this premiere is gonna be at nine o'clock in the morning. No, no, you know where we're gonna be in Vegas? It's gonna be six o'clock in the morning in Vegas when this video comes out. I mean, technically, do you know what time is the last call in Vegas? Three, four, six, N nothing? nothing, nothing. The bars don't close in Vegas. It's like the Hotel California. You can check it anytime you want, but you can never leave. But what speaking, is that? Is that Michael Jackson? Does? No, that's the Eagles. That's Hotel but, California. But you were doing it as Michael Jackson. No, that's just how they sing the Hotel the California. Hee 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 hee. Hey, Kirsten. I smell something. I know. I was smelling it too. Welcome to the garbage the garbage room. room. Let's we'll just go with that. Um, I swear, one of these days, Park West is going to try and take legal action against me. You know what eh. I say? Get in my belly! Okay, let's go. You say that to everyone. I do. Uh, this is their treat lounge. This is the special sweet lounge. <laughs> Kirsten's an inside cabin girl. Let's not lie. 
You've never been in a sweet lounge before? CPA, cheapest people alive. You ever been in a sweet lounge before, Kristen? I haven't. Well, you're not going in this one because we ain't sweet. We took a free cruise from the casino on this cruise, but I got a free casino cruise coming up on MSC and you're going to need to go in the sweet lounge. So Kirsten is going to actually have her first sweet experience. Every now, you've done balconies before, right? Yes. Because we, I think we had a balcony on one of the cruises we went on, didn't we? No? Uh, I don't think us, but my very first cruise I oh. ever did on Disney, I had a balcony and it was only because I was upgraded as like a magical thing because I was, um, it was my first one. You were upgraded by like a magic upgrade fairy? Yeah, I, I paid for an inside room and then they told me I was having a magical moment and they just gave me, they just gave magical me a... Magical moment means Disney didn't sell that shit. <laughs> you know what? One time at Epcot, I was parking... I thought you were going to say at band camp. I really thought you were going with... One time at band camp, I stuck a flute at my... One time at Epcot, I was Epcot family parking person of the day and they gave me the best spot i even got a certificate for it hey carson <laughs> every time i go to epcot i bring my electric truck uh -huh. and i get the best parking spot that's there yeah and do you plug in and power epcot for them <laughs> you know why because when i get there and i power i plug in it's actually charging the truck i say greetings epcotians people of epcot Epcot Terrans. Yeah, Epcot Terrans, that's right. Did I get that right? I think so. Still one of the <laughs> weirdest things Disney's ever put in a ride. Okay, let's continue. We ain't got much more to go. Uh, we're just going to finish in the, what we haven't shown people yet is the grand foyer, right? Like the, you haven't really even seen that Right, yet. right, right. So that so, we can look at the, uh, the staircase that looks like it's made out of um, rotten Himalayan salt. Uh, no Pants Profits. No Pants Profits. No okay. Pants Profits. On YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go. That, honestly, for us, that's the most popular question on yes. the whole ship. It is. And where'd you get those hats? Yes. Where'd you get those sexy, <laughs> sexy hats? The sexy hats come from the Mafia Shipping Company, courtesy of the MSC Ponzi Scheme. Coming soon. Hey, that's my next cruise I'm on. So uh, you will be seeing me and my adopted father, Bill. You never met Bill, have you? I haven't. Bill, maybe you'll meet him one day. Bill's my adopted father, my first adopted father. And, you know, I talk about my adopted parents on the channel all the time, but I don't think I ever told the story of how I met them. I'll tell it now, and I'll tell it on the MSC ship. I'll tell it when we're walking towards the... So it was not on this ship. It was actually on the Celebrity Equinox. Remember how I showed you guys about, what's, what's the timestamp? What's the current time? 67.44. Okay, I got to back it up. Uh, 20 minutes ago, I showed you guys the iPad minis in the Apple store. You remember that, Kirsten? Right. So they came, and they bought an iPad mini from me once. This was on the Celebrity Equinox. And they were nice people. And they bought an iPad mini from me because they, they had onboard credit and stuff like that. And uh, I told them I'd give them a free hour of internet or whatever. And they go, don't you have something better? I'm going to look at him dead in the face. I want you to be very clear. The statute of limitations on this is over. <laughs> you can't fire me, celebrity. <laughs> they tried that. After I left the company, I read something it's bad. Like, on... This man is already gone, but how can we just fire him again? <laughs> how can we just keep firing him? So He was never fired. No. I walked I'm sure around. they want to fire him now. Yeah, they probably do. <laughs> <laughs> but you can never leave. Okay, so they come to me. They were supposed to get a free hour of internet on their iPad, right? And they go, can't you do better? And I look at the woman straight in the face. I knew, I knew, I knew she was a sick individual. Love you, Trish. Uh, I knew she was a sick individual. I said, I can just load your iPad with a whole bunch of porn if you want. <laughs> they looked at me and they said, you don't know this story, do you? They looked at me and they said, do that. So I went back to my cabin and I loaded their iPad filled with porn. Was the... Um was the backdrop on their computer from Tim Oh Girls crap, no, we're not, we're not we're, no, Oh no, you don't know the background of the computer story. <laughs> I mean, since you brought it up, I'm going to have to talk about that in a minute. But, oh God. Uh, not the two girls, one cop. I'll talk about another okay, one. Okay, and so, here is the rotten salt staircase. Oh my God, it does look like rotten salt. Oh, I never even saw that before. But I've been to a salt, uh, salt castle, salt whatever it was. Yeah. Salt thingy. So this is guest services pan around quickly and uh this is the main foyer uh yeah so uh that's how they became my fake mother and father number one 
because my real mother and father don't like me drinking and gambling. And what have I done all this cruise, Kirsten? Drank and gambled. Mm. You know how I found you here the other day? Where? It's cause, here, because I, I was walking around and you, you see the Cafe Albaccio is a, you heard little, my loud voice? a little bit above, above us. No, and my watch started dinging that my messages were coming through and it's because I picked up your internet, so I knew you were nearby. <laughs> yep. So we got a short excursion desk. We've got a random, here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you one more random fact, okay? I'm gonna tell you what these things are called. Don't worry, we're not gonna cause any trouble, guys. Doors? So this, no, 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 look, just look through here. This is called a shell door. See that? That's how the ship opens on the side, but it's actually like watertight, so if you have, this is where you get on and off the ship, uh, yeah. on a higher level. I lost uh, my shoe. Like in Europe and stuff, you'd get on and off the ship here. They'd run a gangway up the side during high tide and low tide and stuff ah. like that. So these are shell doors. And here's what I have at home. I can show this to you if I can find it. I think I know where it is. Celebrity has the same key for every shell door on the fleet. They're all keyed alike from the factory. I actually have a key to the ship. It's like a skeleton key. Well, the problem is you can only open it from the inside. So what good is a key to the ship that you can only open? There's no keyhole on the outside of the ship. Eh, seems like it's for security purposes or something. It seems like I have one. Did, did you know that that's actually one of the things that Southwest Airlines does as well? What? They have only one model of airplane so that every part, like, they only need to have one of this and one of that because they all fit every plane because they're all the same plane. And you know what? In the end of the day, you can shit on Southwest all you like, but they probably have the best flight record in the... They, they do, and, no, and no, I, no, no, I would never shit record, on them. Record, I love them. Safety records. I had enough flight record. They have the best safety record in the industry. The only problem is they never leave on time. <laughs> Am I wrong, mm. Kirsten? Turn it around. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking about Spirit or Frontier here. Spirit and Frontier just don't leave. I think that's the important thing. And Spirit and Frontier? Captain! Senor! Hello! All right. They don't leave. But Kirsten, <laughs> I, I guess... I, I promised the internet one more story and then we'll wrap up your review. Uh, so when I used to work, it was actually not on this ship, sorry. It's on another celebrity ship. But this guy, we were doing a transatlantic. You're, you're actually doing a trans-Pacific, right, coming up? Right. So we're doing a transatlantic. This guy comes to me on the first day of transatlantic and goes, I don't know if you know this story. Kirsten was making a joke about two girls, one cup. If you don't know what two girls, one cup is, please Google it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> You'll you made, ruin yourself. If you've made it this deep in the video, why am I not going to tell you this story anyway? We're what, 75 minutes in? 72. 72, okay. So we're 72 minutes in. Um, so this guy comes, his computer's not working, right? I, I want to see Kirsten's reaction to this story. Okay. I'm making sure both our mics are still working. I haven't, guy comes, computer's not working. It's a transatlantic. There's no way he can bring it to an Apple store or something like that. I'm like, okay, I'll take a look at it, right? I'm like, I need your password so I can check and get in. I'm like, I'm not going to look at your shit or anything. So I get his computer working the next day, right? When I get his computer working, there's a woman on his desktop background that is spread eagle. You know what that is, right? Like she, everything open? Yeah, she got her legs all open. The, all and the then curtains. She's, she's, using, she's using her hands to... The, the pink curtains? Yeah, the pink curtains. The, the, and there, there was no carpet. It was all curtains. Right? The carpet I can't match I understand the this. So there's a woman that's literally spread eagle on his desktop background. I call him. I say, hey, your computer's done. Come up to my office, pick it up, right? He comes up to the office. There's someone with him. Who's with him? Mickey Mouse. No. Hitler? No. Uh... You've never heard this story, have you? <laughs> no. So he comes up to the office, and there's an extra woman that's up in the office with him. Who's the woman? Minnie Mouse. Uh, Pamela Anderson. Uh, the woman is the one that's spread Christine eagle on his desktop. Brinkley. Oh. The woman is the woman who I saw her meet curtains. Ugh. And... I couldn't deny that I saw the meat curtains. Cause it was his desktop background. Okay, I didn't go digging in his shit. I log in, and just all of a sudden, his desktop background is someone. And I'm like, okay. I can't, I, so I look at him dead in the face. I have a very similar story. Go on. No, I, look at him, I look at him dead <laughs> in the face. Oh, Kirsten, you don't know where this punchline's going because it's true. I'm holding that drink club because I know the end of this and you don't. No, no. I don't want you dropping it. That's, that's why I'm holding this empty cup. Well, you want some of that? Is that the toffee apple? Yes, it is. I need a sip. Oh, okay. Before I give you the punchline? Okay. No. no I'll give it to her after the punchline. Um, so I go, 
Sir, I must say, you have a beautiful wife. His response is, that's not my wife. Mm. Finish, finish. That's not my wife, comma. That's my mistress. No, try again. Comma. It's my daughter. Yes. Oh. oh. That's the only thing worse. I know, daddy's keeping a spread eagle <laughs> photo of his daughter on his desktop background. Because okay. daddy's her manager. And that's the computer he manages her on. So there was this time that I Googled, why does pooping feel so good? And then... Okay. <laughs> And then, so, so I said, why does pooping uh, feel so good? And then, <laughs> and then I read the answer. Hey, look, I'm putting a finger somewhere. <clears throat> but then I, I didn't like delete that window. And then I was trying to train one of my brand new employees. Poor was it on PowerPoint? Poor or Therese. Was it on PowerPoint no, or no? No, it was on my freaking phone. Oh, okay. And well, you I, weren't like, okay. It wasn't in front of a bunch of people. Oh no! So I, I so I just I opened my phone up to try to show her how to use our time clock system, and it just is like Google, like why does pooping feel so good? <laughs> Kirsten, it's like her Kirsten, third Kirsten. day. Oh no, Kirsten, I can beat you there. Then we'll get to the final review of the ship. Cause look, you watch this channel because we go off the rails. So I used to teach technology on the ship, right? And I, you know, back in the day, remember iPhones only had like eight gigs of storage on like the top end and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So this was like back in the day when like a 16 gig iPhone was the thing. Now I got a terabyte, which is 1,028 Me too. gig. Yeah, so like 1,028 gigs. But this is back when a 16 gig was the thing. So they had this 64 gig Wi-Fi flash drive, right? I'm demoing it. Now let's be very clear why I'm demoing it. I'm demoing it in a 1,300 person theater. How this wireless flash drive works. Okay. That's call back a lot to, of people. Call back to 15 minutes ago. What was that flash drive filled with? Porn. What thumbnails came up on the screen in the theater with 1,300 people watching? Flash curtains. I mean, you could tell it was a casting couch. That's, uh, that's all I want to say. Remember, you can make $500 to $2,000 a day. But today doesn't count. Not me. I mean, I can if I sell some birds, but you know. I uh was -huh, just looking at your age. <laughs> you see that watch? It's still working. It's I think like, it's Kirsten's biological clock. For my, <laughs> for my age, it's like the odometer has to reset. Yeah, the odometer. What the hell were we talking about? Oh, I don't know anymore. Flesh curtains. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Teaching back room, people. Backroom casting couch and, and, and review. We got to talk about one more thing about this ship. Yeah. Uh, and then, then we will. Then we will. I need your opinion on something that I'm going to let you wrap everything up. And, you know, you could say when you wear no pants and I think you left loose shirt. I'll let you do that in a minute. But I want to talk about one more thing before we do that. All right. I want you to tell me whether this is a lie or not. Okay. Oh, it's not there. <laughs> it doesn't say high speed. <laughs> it used to say high speed internet. <laughs> I think this internet's pretty disrespectful to Starlink, don't you? Internet was not great on this ship, was it, Kirsten? No, it's I mean, minimal. It's barely usable a lot of the time. Barely. All right. I just wanted to get your opinion on that because I made a whole video last time on that. So I tried to watch a video on my phone. On I YouTube? Could not. No. I tried to accept a phone call. I could not. Mm. But I could do. Before I finish this, I know you want to taste. I could. I could do everything else I needed to do. Yeah, but slowly. It wasn't great. That's right. It was like 90s dial-up style almost. But they're, they're advertising Starlink. It almost feels like Starlink should be pissed off that they've got their name on this. You know, uh, but Kirsten. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's the top. Do you think? I think the snowflake's too sweet. I think this one's just that nice balance. What do you think? That's why we put this above it. Yeah. I mean, the snowflake is literally like cocaine and diabetes in a glass. That's what I'd say. But, um, so, Kirsten, wrap up your time on the summit. Then I gotta go pay my bill. <laughs> um, I've had a great time on the summit. We're here on spring break. On oh, that's right, we are here on spring break. Yeah. And I don't think we said this. And who the hell's watching this late in the video? Uh, this ship is technically over capacity. It is because you usually look at capacity by double occupancy. There's a lot of rooms that have three or four little goblins on board. I will tell you though, kids really have not been a problem on this cruise. They haven't. Because usually, what I do, you remember the troll bracelet? You have. Oh that. yeah. We throw it at the kids. I know, and you sometimes you let me wear it on formal night. I do. <laughs> I do. Because troll cum is a special type of uh, formal tire. Ew. Anyway, we've had a great time on the Celebrity I, hey, look, Summit. I'd say, look, 
It it's was a younger about, crowd, no, no, super Carson, packed. Carson, here's what I'm going to say. I had a better time this time of the summit than I did a month and a half ago. On the reflection? No, or on this on this ship. ship? I was on okay. this ship a month and a half ago. I did better in the casino this time. I got myself a free cruise on the Beyond this time from the casino. But it is a younger demographic. Even though I was on a booze cruise a month and a half ago. Five, it was the same five-day cruise. I think we went some different places. I don't even know. I, you know I don't care where we actually go. Same. To be honest, I don't think I got off. I didn't get off the ship when I was on a month and a half ago. We got off both days this time. So Kirsten forces me at least to get out of bed and get off the ship. But um, I would put this on par with the reflection. And here's why. And again, if you disagree, you're welcome to interject any time. We know they've knocked down the cocktail menus. They've made things worse. But the demographic has made this ship a lot more lively. We can't call this ship a retirement home. In the end of the God's day, God's waiting God's room, waiting room. Was I think, the last one. But, yeah. but here's what I'm saying: is in, in the end of the day, I'm gonna put. I, I like to put a value on these cruises. We're in an inside cabin, booze cruise. Again, I'm just telling you where the price should be. I'm not telling you what the price is because I don't know what the price is of cruise. I mean, I know, I know our um, Beyond cruise that I booked was like four grand. Uh, I didn't pay for it. The casino paid for it. But like they, on Celebrity, they let you see the interface to see what it should cost. So we saw it was like a four grand cruise at the casino. I said, here, take for free. I'm like, I'm not denying it. Uh, so where was I going with this? I was going somewhere. Beyond, or uh, help me out here. You're sweating really bad. <laughs> oh, it's like a hundred degrees outside. I think this is probably a hundred dollar a person a night cruise. Oh yes. You know, I would actually say a little bit less than that maybe. Really? But you know what? It's actually Celebrity, which is the upper, t- High upper end tier of brand. Royal Caribbean. Yeah. So if it was Royal Caribbean, it would be more like 50 to 70. No, and... no. Carnival is 50. You, you got to remember. Oh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. We've already made a Trump joke. We live in Joe Biden's America. Everything's gone up. Uh, I mean, your baseline, your baseline for spring break, plus we're in a holiday. I'd say spring break. I, I, I will take the camera. This is hurts. my first time. Oh, Kirsten now understands what it is to do these damn videos and okay. zoom in on my own stomach. Uh, oh, I'm zooming in on my stomach again. Kirsten's arm's now free. Okay, let's wrap it up. We can talk. We can talk about this together. Okay. I think it's probably hundred dollars a day. Now you add taxes and port fees and gratuities and everything like that. You're looking at getting out of here for like hundred and thirty-five dollars per person per day. So I mean, realistically. This is a $1,500 cruise, all in. It should be. If you can get this cruise for $1,500 or under, all in. That's with taxes and port fees. Not, without, not with a drink package, I'm just saying. All in, without a drink package, without any excursions, without any specialty restaurants or anything. It's worth about $1,500. Is that that's about what you pay for your cruises when you buy the cruises? Or you pay far less? Less. I never pay for anything that's over $100 per night, okay. with the exception of Pride of America for my honeymoon back in Hawaii on Norwegian. We're not going to talk about it. I, I've, I've not been on that ship. My mom did not have a good experience on that ship. I don't know. Uh, did you like that ship? I don't actually like the ship so much, but I love the idea. The destination. Yeah. It's kind of like I'm going on a garbage carnival ship to Alaska. Uh, I mm-hmm. don't really care. i got 21 days in Alaska. But... Sail that dumpster. Yes, I will sail that. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you know what it's called? Like the, the ship is called the Park West of the Seas. Uh. <laughs> no, let's, let's, let's continue to wrap it up. Again, you're a bargain hunter. We're, we are in spring break. It's a cruise from Miami on spring break. Normal, let's say not spring break. This is probably worth about $80 a night per person all in. Spring break, you're gonna have to pay one, 120 per night all in. It's just, it's just supply and demand, the elasticity of demand, the cheap poor ass, what do you call it? CPA? Yeah, what does it stand for? <laughs> Cheapest people alive. Oh. Cheap, poor ass, whatever. Also certified public alcoholics. Oh. Here. <laughs> cheer, cheers to that. Uh, so, I mean, you'd put it on par with the reflection, right? It was a livelier crown. They cut back a lot of the cocktails and stuff. If you had to choose to do one of them again, price is irrelevant. Would you rather do that seven-day reflection or a five-day on the, like... Probably this one because it just was more lively and they have had a few more games on this one, a little bit more trivia, two trivias a day instead of just one.
but I still love Norwegian better okay, for the I, games I, and trivia. I get it, I get it. But, and MSC for the cheese. And I love MSC for the no tax forms, and I don't like Norwegian because they make me pay gratuities on my free drink package. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm the cheapest person alive too. I want to get him on Norwegian with me. Uh, she's gonna have. She's gonna eventually. Convince. Help me make me. Help make me ambassador. Ambassador. The word ass That's is an ambassador. I know what it is. Uh, okay. Seven hundred and fifty points. All right, Kirsten. So this is Richard. And Kirsten. Saying that Kirsten would rather go on slum it than do reflection again. I'm just saying. Meh. Meh. Because we don't have to wait. Hold on. Where are we at? We have some battery. We didn't talk about the new game because we didn't play it. Remember when we played Sleeping or Dead? Mm-hmm. There's another game. See the, okay, perfect example. Hold up. Internet needs this. <laughs> do you see this chair? It's slightly shiny and slightly wet. Ew. Oh what, God. What is I see the, a butt mark. You see the butt mark? I see a butt mark. Kirsten, something has caused this butt mark. Pool or pee? It's pee or pool, but yes. I pee or pool. Point. Is it pee or is it pool? And you know there's only one way to find out, Kirsten. Lick it. I wasn't going that far. <laughs> Smell it. Oh, that's pee right there. <laughs> no, it's pool. Whenever you find a wet seat, you have to guess if it's pee or pool. Down on this deck, it's usually pee. Shocking people constantly, <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> so this... And tell them they can't buy their hat on this cruise. Yeah, you gotta go on MSC to get the hat. But this is Richard and Kirsten from... No Pants Profits. Reminding you. When you wear no pants. When you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is... Eh, I mean... Your shirt, Wait, oh I... God, it's coming. Oh, you better no. say goodbye and stop this video. Before. Uh, Kirsten, I don't want to take it off. Just say goodbye. Just say bye. goodbye. <laughs> uh, where's the off button? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't tell him to stop it. It's right there.